Well, it's time to take a look at the banking sector once more and obviously today was not a positive session in any way shape or form these aren't actually the closing prices but pretty much closed on the lows of the day uh, a reasonable percentage decline there and even from um, these prior pivot highs made three or four days ago we have seen a reasonable retracement but we have to keep things in perspective even over the past month or so we can see the impulsive nature of the rise from these lows and in the bigger scheme of things, the decline of late has only retraced a tiny percentage of the prior leg and therefore simply cannot be major reason for concern. Now, first of all, I just want to go over the larger degree patterns, specifically from this low down here. Now, on the positive side of things, we have seen a clear cut five wave movement higher to wave one or A. And again, an ABC correction to the downside exactly as anticipated. That takes us well into the typical retracement zone shown here. Pretty textbook up to this juncture and even from there an impulsive movement higher. Now I have tentatively labelled wave 1, minor degree wave 1 as being in position. So we are technically uh, in a position to see a reasonable retracement. Now the reason I penciled in wave 1 is basically because we have some time pay bearish divergence that has triggered. So that's basically where price has made a higher high. Our divergence oscillator fails to confirm by making a lower high. We have triggered and that does suggest as an absolute minimum that the prior pivot high here will not be overcome until our oscillator works its way all the way back down into the oversold position. That could take from as little as three or four days to a couple of weeks. And if it's going to be a couple of weeks, then yes, we can look to see a reasonable retracement taking us back down into the smaller degree 50 to 61.8 percent retracement zone here so even if we do see a corrective pattern down toward that 6800 level that would not be a major reason for concern the bullish case would still be firmly intact over the longer term and of course bigger picture we are looking for the wave equality projection circa 7800 to be attained but certainly not going to happen overnight but ultimately that region is more than achievable so we'll just have to see what transpires following today's weakness if we do continue with that decline then look for a three wave movement down and that's very important we do not want to see a straight line movement down into this target area it must unfold in three waves or as a bare minimum be corrective in nature so choppy and messy if we do see that pattern that's a very good buying opportunity right there so not serious reason for concern over the past few days a breakdown through the 61.8 percent retracement level here would be but there's no indication that we are going to exceed those levels <laughs> 